Hi, I'm Matt Phillips for Tech Radar, and the DJI Mavic Air 2 just became the top rated drone on site. And here's why. With a complete redesign of its body, the Mavic Air 2 looks just like a miniaturized Mavic 2 Pro. But it's not merely a clone in a smaller form factor. DJI has packed the Mavic Air 2 with a host of new features and technologies, making this the smartest DJI drone to date. Everything has been redesigned with user friendliness in mind, from the controller to the app to the drone itself. DJI has addressed a lot of the issues that we had with previous models, and whilst the Mavic Air 2 certainly isn't perfect, it certainly sets a new benchmark for what we can expect from consumer drones in the future. On the outside, the Mavic Mavic Air 2 looks like a miniaturized Mavic 2 Pro and features the same folding design where the front arms swing out while the rear arms rotate down and out for flight. This means the Air 2 is a tiny 180 by 97 by 84 millimeters when folded and just 183 by 253 by 77 millimeters when unfolded. And at just 570 grams, it's just over half the weight of the Mavic 2 Pro, making it highly portable. In taking on the design of the Mavic Pro series, the Mavic Air 2 sits low on the ground on its back arms. This means that if you're taking off in a grassy field, you'd better find a flat, well-maintained area, or you'll risk trimming some blades and damaging your rotors. Unlike the previous and current Mavic drone controllers, the Mavic Air 2 remote doesn't fold. It's like a smaller version of the DJI Smart Controller, but without the screen. This new shape is comfortable to hold thanks to the contoured grips on the rear and a weight of just 393 grams. In our experience, the controller also starts up and pairs quicker with the aircraft than previous controllers. With this new design, the phone attaches to the top of the controller via a telescopic grip that should comfortably accept phones of all sizes. However, we found that the cables used to connect your phone are a little too long for the design. So, inserting the phone end of the cable into the space for storage puts pressure on the cable. This probably won't be an issue for many of you, but it's the sort of thing that could cause damage over time. The control sticks are stored in a rubberized section at the bottom of the controller, and there are two additional spares in the box. The controller itself is quite minimal in its design and button layout, meaning the majority of camera controls are accessed via the DJI Fly app. The drone features new motors, new electronic speed controllers, improved battery technology, and enhanced aerodynamics, which combine to provide increased flight speeds of up to 42 miles per hour in sport mode and a flight time of up to 34 minutes. This is an impressive 13 minutes longer than the original Mavic Air, and even three minutes longer than the much pricier Mavic 2 series. The controller also provides increased battery life over the previous models. The connection between the drone and the controller has been improved too, thanks to the inclusion of OcuSync 2.0, which is a vastly superior method than the enhanced Wi-Fi used by the original Mavic Air. OcuSync 2.0 supports 2.4 GHz and 5.8 GHz frequencies and can switch between the two of them when necessary plus anti-interference technology blocks out any unwanted signals. This new and improved technology keeps the drone and controller connected at distances of up to 10 kilometers. However, the video feed of the Mavic Air 2 can still stutter and lock momentarily while the drone continues to move. This was also a problem with the original Mavic Air. And whilst it's not the end of the world, it can sometimes make framing up shots more difficult than it needs to be. This issue could be down to the pre-release version of the DJI Fly app that we had for review, so this problem may be ironed out with firmware and app updates in the future. DJI has packed the Mavic Air 2 with a whole bunch of safety features to make sure you don't crash your new favorite drone. First up, it has obstacle sensors on the front and rear of the drone that when switched on can help you avoid obstacles, obviously. This is turned on by default and we'd recommend keeping it that way. Another leaf taken from the Mavic Pro can be found on the bottom of the drone where DJI has placed some extra sensors alongside an auxiliary light to help with automatic landing. As usual, there is also geofencing, which will stop the drone flying close to high risk and secure locations such as airports. That's not the end of the safety features either. Advanced Pilot Assistance Systems 3.0, or APAS, will automatically reroute the drone around obstacles in its path. This means you can confidently fly in more complex locations without fear of crashing. 
And finally, the Mavic Air 2 includes AirSense technology, a first for a DJI consumer drone, which receives signals from nearby aeroplanes and helicopters and displays their locations on the on-screen map in the DJI Fly app. As you'd hope and expect, the image quality is massively improved over the previous Mavic Air model. This is, in part, thanks to the new 12 megapixel half-inch quad Bayer sensor. This provides significantly cleaner images at all ISO levels, but like all drones with small sensors, noise is noticeable even at ISO 100. So ISO 400 is realistically the highest setting you'll want to use. The camera lens provides a full frame equivalent focal length of 24 millimeters with a fixed f2.8 aperture. But despite this limitation, the depth of field is large enough to keep close and even deep landscape scenes sharp throughout. Images are sharpest in the center of the frame, with drop-off the closer you get to the image edges. This is the same with all Mavic drones, but the edge sharpness of the Mavic Air 2 is greatly improved compared to its predecessor. For photographers, there are several functions designed to help you shoot better images with ease. But like scene modes on compact cameras and entry-level DSLRs, if you're an experienced photographer, you can actually achieve better results shooting RAW using manual mode shooting and post-production editing. HDR Photos captures seven bracketed exposures that are then merged in camera to produce an image with detail from the shadows to the highlights. Hyperlight is a mode designed for shooting in low light and merges several images to average out and reduce noise. And finally, Scene Recognition is a mode that recognizes five scene types, sunsets, blue skies, grass, snow, and trees, and optimizes the in-camera settings to give you what the Mavic Air 2 thinks is the best JPEG you can get from that scene. Again, you can probably get better results here shooting manually in RAW and then post-processing in something like Lightroom. But these features will help you take stunning stills regardless of how experienced you are as a photographer. Another bonus feature is the ability to shoot 48 megapixel stills with a 12 megapixel sensor. The output images taken in this mode are JPEG format and the results are unfortunately much softer than the RAW files and standard size JPEGs. Plus we noticed that images appeared washed out and desaturated in comparison. For videographers, the Mavic Air 2 brings with it some first for DJI, and even features not found in the flagship Mavic models, such as 4K video at 60 frames per second and slow motion video at 240 frames per second at 1080p. So despite its small size, there's certainly scope for professional video use with this drone in certain situations. Video can be captured in standard format or in the more neutral D-Cine-like profile that displays more detail in the shadows and highlights and requires color grading. HDR video is also available at 4K, 2.7K and Full HD at up to 30 frames per second. And 4K is available up to 60 frames per second, 2.7K up to 60 FPS and Full HD up to 240 FPS. Video can be shot in MP4 or MOV with a maximum bit rate of 128 megabits per second. Just when you thought the Mavic Mini was the most impressive small drone available, DJI has upped the ante with the Mavic Air 2, which sits comfortably between the entry-level Mavic Mini and the two prosumer Mavic models. For photographers and videographers requiring a highly portable drone that can easily be carried alongside other photographic equipment to shoot raw stills, 4K video up to 60 FPS, and slow-mo full HD video, the Mavic Air 2 sets a new benchmark for what we can expect from DJI drones now and in the future. With the launch of the Mavic Air 2, DJI has produced a drone that will undoubtedly have a wide appeal thanks to the impressive smart flight features, stills, and video functionality, alongside the upgraded design, motors, and battery that provides significant performance upgrades over the previous model. The Mavic Air 2 isn't perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but it is an absolute joy to fly, and we wouldn't be surprised if it becomes DJI's new best-selling drone. The Mavic Air 2 is available to pre-order right now and is expected to ship mid-May. The standard package will cost £769, and the Fly More bundle that includes a shoulder bag, ND filters, charging hub, and three batteries will cost you £949. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please do give it a like. It helps us out a lot. And remember to subscribe so you don't miss any of our future content. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of the Mavic Air 2 and head over to techradar.com for all the latest tech news and reviews.